Welcome to Things I Wish I Learned at School, brought to you by White Rose Maths, especially for National Numeracy Day 2020. We firmly believe that we are all numbers people. Maths, everyone can. In this short video, we're going to take a look at multiplication, specifically mental multiplication. Work out 24 multiplied by 5. Now, when I was at school, I only really had one method to fall back on. I would have done 20 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 100, and then 4 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 20, and added them together to get 120. And you can see here on the right a diagram representing what I would think about in my head. What strategy would you use? It was only when I became an adult that I was exposed to different ways of working out calculations like this. And this particular one really blew my mind. So if we think about 24 multiplied by 5, we could half it to get 12 and then double the 5 to get 10. Our answer is still 120, but it was much easier to work out. I halved the 24 and doubled the 5 to change the calculation to 12 multiplied by 10. Have a go at using that strategy to work out these two calculations. How did you get on? Did you change this one to 16 multiplied by 10 and got 160? And the second one we could change to 240 multiplied by 10 which gave us 2,400. Multiplying by 10 is one of the easiest things we can multiply by mentally. But what about questions like this? 15 multiplied by six and 12.5 multiplied by eight. Can you think about the method we just looked at and would it make these two multiplications easier? Let's take a look at the first one. We could change that to 30 multiplied by 3, which gives us 90. We've doubled 15 and halved 6. And the second one, if we double 12.5, we get 25 and half the 8, we get 4, giving us 100. Manipulating our numbers can make the calculations much easier to work out. I hope you found my little tip useful. Why don't you have a go at these three calculations and share it with someone you know. Good luck.